what's going on everybody? It's Audie with GameStorm. Today I'm doing a recent pickups video. Uh, we haven't done one of these in a while. And I picked up a few things, so I figured I'd show you. <laughs> so uh, I guess let's get started. Um, first thing I want to do is not really a game. It is a uh, cable. It is a uh, extension cable for my N64 controllers. Came in a really nice box, actually. I think I got this off of... It's either eBay or Amazon. can't remember. But they weren't very much. Um, they're real nice quality and everything. Plugs in really easily. I got two of those. And once I get some more uh, N64 controllers, I'll buy some more of these just so I don't accidentally pull it off, you know, or my friends pull it off when we're playing uh, Super Smash Brothers or something like that. Alright, I also bought three of these. These are the um, compo composite and uh, S video cables for N64, um, GameCube, or Super Nintendo. Fit all of them. Um, that way I can use composite or S video. I already have just S video and the uh, audio like that, but figured I'd get one of these too, just so I'd have them all. Um, can't remember if I got this off eBay or Amazon. I think eBay. I'm gonna put all the links in the description so you can find out where I bought these. They were they were pretty cheap too. Um, next thing I got, I do remember getting this off eBay, and that is my favorite game of all time, Ocarina of Time, and it is the gold one, and it is the uh, first edition one. So it has all the, you know, red blood, the chants, and the uh, fire temple, all that good stuff. So that's the whole reason I got it. That was $25. So that was really good. That was free shipping, too. Uh, next thing I got was Donkey Kong Country Returns for the Wii. This is actually my second game only for the Wii that I bought. The first one was Skyward Sword, and then uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns. The Wii is actually my sister's, so that's why I don't really have many of these games. But, um,. Donkey Kong Country was my very first game I ever had on the uh, Super Nintendo when I was like seven. So I figured I'd get this, and I actually just beat this, so there may be a review, wink wink. But this game was actually really fun. So I would uh, highly recommend that. And uh, speaking of Donkey Kong Country, <laughs> I actually went and got that the other day at Secondhand Sports here in Ada. And that was $9.99, so $10. And I also got. A link to the past, and that was $16.99, so $17. So got both of those Super Nintendo games, very good. Then there was a buy two GameCube games get to free sale on GameStop about a week or two ago. Um, first game I got was Star Wars Warp Squadron 3, um, Rebel Strike. I wanted to get the second one too, but they sold out. They sold out of a lot of the games that I was going to get, um, just because everyone was buying them. So, you know, that was alright, but I'll get the second one eventually. Next game, it actually came in one of those crappy GameStop cases, but I had, you know, some extra GameCube cases. So I put it in here, um, don't know if you can really see it. Hopefully you can, but it's Star Fox Adventures for the GameCube. Uh, I haven't started playing that, or Rogue Squadron, I'll be playing this later. Uh, next one came in one of those crappy cases also, no book or anything, but um, it's the Sonic Mega Collection, and I put it in one of my GameCube cases. There's a lot of games on there, so that was good. And now this next one is uh, pissing me off, kind of. Alright, so um, the last game I got was, flip this around so you can see it here, Soul Calibur 2? Yes, I was going to say 4, Soul Calibur 2 for the GameCube. And, um, I actually got two copies of this. First one I got did not work. Got to, you know, it started up, it was fine, played the intro video, got to the part where I was going to just play like a practice battle or a versus battle against the computer, you know. Uh, came up with the selection screen for the characters and everything. It would show like the characters on either side, but they were just like white silhouettes and all of a sudden it was like error, you know, GameCube, game cannot be read, please remove whatever crap, stuff like that. I was like, okay take it out, look at it, nothing really wrong, put it back in, and it never worked. It never did work. I was never able to play it. So, you know, I tried to clean it. I put it in my GameCube and my Wii. Didn't work. Emailed them. Uh, told them to send me another one. I was going to just get rid of the other one. Whatever, you know, whatever they wanted to do. So they sent me another one. Um, got it about 
two days ago, something like that. Tried it out, same thing. Exact same thing. So now I have two copies of Soul Calibur 2 that do not work. Um, if you guys know how to make GameCube games work, please let me know. Um, I don't want to just have two crappy games that don't work. That pisses me off. So, if you have any kind of suggestions on what Lowe's should do, because I, I really can't tell. Like, I'll show you what it looks like. This middle part, right here, like, it's got some weird shit on it. I don't know. It's like on the plastic part, though. It's not anything on the, uh, on the actual disc. So, I don't, I don't know, but like, try and get this where there's no glare. You can't really see any, like, huge marks or scratches or anything on it. I, I don't know. You know, I, I, I really don't know what to do. So if you guys have any suggestions, just let me know. Maybe they resurfaced it too much. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Me and Gary both thought that on um, both of these. So all my other games work, but not this one. So, oh well. But yeah, that's been my recent pickups. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, we'll see you next time.